St. Louis, Missouri, an awesome city with a ton of great things to offer and a bunch of beautiful, beautiful areas in it. Now, don't get me wrong. St. Louis, just like any city, has its good sides and its ugly sides when it comes to living here. I wanna talk about five really big things that you wanna think about and just know about St. Louis if you're trying to get a sense of What's the vibe? What is it like to live here? And what might that adjustment look like for you if you haven't been here before? So I'm gonna list them off for you and then explain these in detail for this video. Number one, St. Louis is a big town, not a big city. Number two, good affordability with weird taxes. Number three, St. Louis can be a mixed bag when it comes to choosing the neighborhood, the suburb, where you want to live in the St. Louis area. Number four, St. Louis has a lot of people who are from here. A little bit of that small town mentality. And number five, St. Louis can be pretty segmented in multiple different ways. And hey, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacob. This is the Living St. Louis channel. So number one, St. Louis is a really big town, not so much a big city. St. Louis just really does not have that big city feel. This is not Chicago. Like if you're coming to St. Louis and you're in the downtown area expecting that huge urban city feel, you're probably going to be disappointed. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. St. Louis has urban areas, you know, a lot of urban parts in the city and some urban areas in the county, but Urban doesn't necessarily mean big city feel. It's more like an urban town, if that makes sense. It is definitely a really big suburbs city. It is spread out. You have a lot of stuff in the suburbs. Now the city of St. Louis is just like a fraction of the whole metro area. So the city of St. Louis is pretty small. There's like 300,000 people. But in all of the counties that surround St. Louis, you're looking at like 2.8 million people. If you're looking at living in the city itself, you might notice that the neighborhood you're in is walkable, but St. Louis as a city is not the most walkable. You're gonna be walking across main roads, highways going through the place. Like it is not the easiest to get around by foot if you're trying to go from one side of the city to the next. Like it is the kind of place where you're more than likely gonna need a car if you're in the city and definitely if you're living in the suburbs outside the city. Now it's very spread out, but with that, you have a lot of different areas. In the city itself, you have a ton of neighborhoods that are all very different from each other. And in the counties, again, tons of these suburbs and different towns that might be very close to each other, but have completely different styles. Now, the good thing with St. Louis being spread out is that it's really not a bad area for traffic. At all times of the day, even if you're going into the city during that morning rush hour or leaving the city, you know, around four or five o'clock, it might get backed up. But as a metro area, St. Louis does not have bad traffic like what you might see in LA, New York, Boston, some of these other large cities that are notoriously painful for traffic. Now, what I mean also when I say that St. Louis is a suburbs place, the suburbs are just bigger. There's way more people that live outside the city than live in the city. And there's just way more to choose from outside the boundaries of St. Louis City. And depending on where you are for work or where you're going to school here, you might find that your friends, classmates, colleagues commute from like somewhere maybe 10, 15, 20 miles away from where you are. Like that's pretty realistic because St. Louis is the kind of area where you can live 45 miles outside the city and still have, you know, maybe a 45 minute to an hour long commute. And it's not gonna suck with traffic if you're going to and from the city during rush hour. So moving on to number two, overall good affordability with weird taxes, that's St. Louis. So there's three taxes I wanna talk about. Property tax, earnings tax, personal property tax. So if you're coming to St. Louis buying a house, the good news is that for property taxes, Missouri is pretty average compared to the United States. So around 1% is usually a good estimate throughout Missouri, meaning that if you buy a $400,000 house, expect your property taxes to be around $4,000 Depends on where you are. I mean, in some areas of St. Louis, you might see it's more like 3,000 and other parts that might be more expensive, closer to 5,000. It depends on the city you're in, the municipality you're in, school district, fire district, sewer, all of that goes into your property taxes. Now, earnings tax. This is for the city of St. Louis. If you either live in the city 
or you work in the city, there is a 1% earnings tax that you will pay of your income. So even if you do not reside in the city of St. Louis, if you are an employee and you work somewhere in the city, you're still gonna pay that earnings tax. And then number three is the personal property tax, which is a huge pain in the butt if you live in Missouri. This is one of the weird things about the whole state of Missouri. This is for trucks, cars, RVs, motorcycles, boats, tractors, all of that kind of stuff is personal property and you pay yearly taxes on that if you live in Missouri. And it only applies if you live in Missouri and you own the car, the truck, whatever it is on January 1st. So if you move here in the middle of the year or you buy a car in the middle of the year, you're not gonna have that tax until the following year, which is gonna be assessed on January 1st. The rate varies depending on what you have, but this is, so I'm just gonna speak for cars. It's divide the value of it by three. So you take one third and then you multiply that by the tax rate, which might be five, six, 7%. Again, it depends on where specifically you live. So you're gonna have to pay sales tax and then personal property tax whenever you buy a car here. Now, here's the other frustrating part is that it's a pain in the butt to register if you are new to Missouri or you are new to owning a car in Missouri. You gotta get a waiver if you haven't paid personal property tax for the last two years, and then you're gonna have to go register once you have that waiver. And the reason I say affordable with weird taxes is that for the most part, whether you're living in the city or the suburbs around St. Louis, it's really not crazy with pricing. And that goes for buying a house or a condo and with renting. I mean, look, you will see some expensive parts of St. Louis, particularly around Mid-County, where things might be above a million dollars for the median purchase price. But in the St. Louis Metro as a whole, you're usually looking around the low to mid 200,000s as the median sale price for the whole area. The county tends to be more expensive than the city, but overall, like St. Louis is not a city that is notoriously expensive to live in. So that's the good there. Weird taxes, yes, but for the cost of living here, it's not really that bad. Now, number three, St. Louis is a mixed bag when it comes to choosing where to live here. It can be very challenging finding the right fit for you in St. Louis because you have so many of these very different neighborhoods and suburbs around the St. Louis area. And even if they're right next to each other, you might notice a complete night and day difference going from one to the next as far as the types of homes you'll see, the people, how friendly versus how rude they are, and just kind of the mindset, you know, how people treat you, how people are to work with, how they are, you know, going to school, stuff like that. You will see a lot of variety when you're choosing where to live here. And by the way, if you are moving to St. Louis, if you want help buying a house, buying a condo, selling a house, whatever that looks like, send us an email, send us a text. My group and I are a group of realtors. I work with some lovely ladies who are sometimes in the videos with me. We'd love to help you if you are in the market for a home in St. Louis. That is our bread and butter. We love hearing from you who watch these videos. It is the highlight of this job. Totally up to you, no pressure. This is kind of the tough thing to explain, which is just how different these areas can be. Like if you're in the city looking to live, and you are in Soulard, for example, you're gonna notice a different style compared to Lafayette Square, Dogtown, Central West End, and Downtown. Like all of those areas will have a different style, different types of living, different types of food, nightlife, and different types of people that live in those neighborhoods. And if you're in the suburbs, this is especially true. I mean, St. Louis County is kind of divided between Mid-County, North County, South County, and then West County. Depending on where you go, you will see very different areas within each part of St. Louis County. Now, if you're someone looking for more of that urban feel, historic homes with lots of character, you will see a ton of that in the city of St. Louis and in the suburbs that kind of are closer to the city. Now, the further out west you go, the further away from the city, it will start to get more like the sprawling suburbs. It will be more of these mass developed neighborhoods. The further out you go, you'll see more new construction with some of these homes that tend to get more cookie cutter, more boxy in appearance. And then you go way out west, St. Charles County, you see a ton of that. You see more of these brand new neighborhoods, new construction. If you're looking for 
a brand spanking new house at 400,000, you'll see a lot of that the further out west you go. In the city, 400,000 is gonna be more of a historic brick city house. You see a lot of brick in St. Louis and a lot more of these historic homes throughout the city. But my point is that whatever your ideal lifestyle is, you can find that in St. Louis, I promise. You just have to find where that is for you because St. Louis has that urban feel. If you're in downtown or central West End and you wanna feel like you're in a city, you can find that. You can also find the more you know, quaint, small neighborhoods in the city that have an urban feel, but not so overwhelming. The further out you go, you get more into the, you know, dense suburbs. Then you go further out west, you get into the, you know, sprawling suburbs where you got strip malls everywhere, but you got parks, neighborhood playgrounds, neighborhood pool, all that kind of stuff. And then if your style is more rural, more woodsy, more peace and quiet to yourself, again, you're going to have that if you go out west, Wildwood, Franklin County, even, you know, further on the outskirts of St. Charles County, you're going to find that. And you also have places to live between the Missouri side and the Illinois side. So if you hear people talk about the Metro East, that is Illinois, which is about 25% of the St. Louis Metro. I personally live and work completely in Missouri. I don't know Illinois as well, but my point is you have so much to pick from. So I know that might sound like a long rant. My point is that if you move to St. Louis and God forbid you don't like where you end up living, you're probably just not in the right area for you because that is really the tough part about finding your place in St. Louis is just going through all the different areas, going through the suburbs you have to pick from and finding like where do you see yourself being happy because that is by far you know just the biggest thing you want to think about you got to find the area and then once you know the area it's easy to find a house you just you know you got lots of options depending on time of year right now maybe not as much but that's what I'm trying to say. You got you got choices. You got a lot to pick from. You have so many options that it might not be a good thing because there are so many choices that you're probably not gonna be able to see everything depending on how you know pressed you are for time when you're moving to St. Louis. Now, the fourth thing that you will probably hear a lot of if you talk to people about moving to St. Louis or you're watching some other YouTube videos, a lot of people are from St. Louis. And there is this tendency for people who might be born and raised in St. St. Louis to kind of stay within their area or people that will leave St. Louis, they'll go somewhere else for college and maybe start their career somewhere else and then come back to St. Louis after 10, 15 years and they're moving back to St. Louis, but they have family, they have roots here, they have some kind of connection to St. Louis that is bringing them back. And what you will notice is that, again, St. Louis feels like a really big town, not a big city. A lot of people know each other, whether they go back to childhood because they grew up together or they went to high school together or college. And you'll see that there's a lot of these kind of social circles that are very small and interconnected. And the reason I bring that up is because what you might notice is that it's tougher to crack into friend groups. Now look, I'm not trying to scare you away by any means because there are tons of groups and like get togethers that happen to introduce new people to the area. Like there's a huge young professionals group on Facebook, which is just that. It's like, if you're moving to the area and you don't know anyone, here's your group of other transplants who are trying to make friends. But what you might also notice is that there's this huge thing of where'd you go to high school that people will ask you. And you might notice that your friends from work or friends that live in your building or down the street from you, people have these long-standing friend groups that go back to college or high school or elementary school in some cases where people kind of already have a lot of their friend groups because people here are from here. And even if they're moving back to St. Louis, they already have some kind of basis for social connection. And St. Louis kind of sometimes gets this reputation of being a place where people will move to when they're ready to settle down, knowing that they have friends, family, who they can reconnect with when they get back here. And that kind of brings me to number five, which is that St. Louis can be very segmented. And I mean, look, it goes very far back in St. Louis's history, you know, segmented by race, by income, by education, because St. Louis is like this collection of a lot of small communities. You know, in the city, you have all these different neighborhoods that are very different. And in the county, you have mid-county, you got West County, North County, South County. And what you might notice is that there's kind of this tendency for people to stay within that area. And they talk about other groups as kind of like almost outsiders. And there's lots of ways that people will categorize you when they talk to you, 
whether they're asking where you live, where you work, where you went to high school, stuff like that is meant to place you so people can understand your background, your income, what kind of family you're from. Even if someone's like asking you in a genuine way, subconsciously, they're probably, you know, the wheels are turning trying to place you as far as like, okay, if they know the high school you're from, they kind of know you. If they don't know the high school because you went somewhere else, it's kind of weird to them. And here's the thing, if you're moving to St. Louis, please, whenever someone asks you where you went to high school, just answer it. I think it is the funniest thing because there's such a specific intention behind that question. Like if you just be like, oh yeah, I went to Cornfield High School and someone's gonna be like, where is that? You'd be like, oh, that's in the small town, Nebraska. And they'd be like, well, that's not St. Louis. And it's like, yeah, no shit. I didn't say it was in St. Louis, but yes, yeah, where I went to high school, that's where I went. I can't play that game because I did go to high school in St. Louis, but if I didn't, that is exactly what I would do. I always think that's pretty funny when I watch that happen. And I mean, even the way that you pronounce a street or a building, or if you call it 64, or if you call it 40, people will use that to try to, you know, place you and categorize you. You know, it depends on where you go, and you might notice this a lot, depending on where you move to, and you might not notice it at all and be like, Jacob, what the hell are you talking about? St. Louis is not clicky. And again, it depends on you, because some of these might be a really big deal for you personally, and some of them you might not care as much about. But there are a lot of different ways you can move to St. Louis, and there are so many places to live that you could have a vastly different experience being here from one place to the next to the next and still be in the same city. Again, if you have questions, if you're moving here, want help with that real estate process, just shoot over an email, shoot over a text. I'd love to help with that. Thank you for watching. That is going to wrap up this video and I will see you in the next one on the Living St. Louis channel. Take care.